So y'all remember that old saying, never put off uh, to tomorrow what you can do today? I'm going to give you a, a way that that kind of worked backfired for me yesterday. So when I did my video yesterday, I was trying to think of some follow-up videos to do. I came up with with two. With two in mind. Two in particular. I came up with three, but we're going to talk about two. One of them was to talk about the impact Morgan Moses has had um, in the run game. Because, you know, and that's, you know, what I'm about to show you here shortly. But as you can see, they talked about that on the Ravens channel, too. The second one is, uh, as I was doing the video yesterday, the top 10 plays, I noticed uh, Drake London and Marlowe kind of went at it back and forth. So I said, well, let me focus in on that matchup and um, see what Drake London and Marlowe did. So that was my goal for this morning. And uh, as I'm watching the Best Man series with my wife last night, I get an alert from uh, Coach DC. Uh, that's all 22. And he did a video on um, Marlon and Drake London. And I, when I see it, I'm like, God damn it. I should have went ahead and did what I said I was going to do yesterday. But spending that time was, was more important than that video. And that's fine. Go, go support Coach DC. And uh, let's talk about how Morgan Moses has helped the Ravens run game. Run the intro. <laughs> And what I really want to focus on is, is two kind of plays that, that Morgan Moses has really done well at. Counter, where he's the puller, and outside zone. So we're going to try to find about five to seven plays of, of those type of plays from the game, and, and let's go from there. But before we get started, I want to shout out everybody that's a patron. Uh, I made sure I ran down the list yesterday. Everybody that's a member, I did that. Everybody that has super chatted, super thanks, uh, did the Patreon, PayPal, Cash App, and all those things. And if you want to do any of that, you feel obliged to do so, please do so. The link is in the description. And I'm also some merch down there. Uh, 2023, I'm going to step up my design game and, and put some more merch on the channel. I've been kind of researching different ways to, to do that because this is a one-two operation, one being me, two being white. No, check that. This is a one and one situation. One being me, the other one being my wife. But um, let's get started. All right, let's take a look at this play. And this is going to be an outside zone play to the right, to his side. And what he's going to do is, and really his job is, there's no immediate threat to his right gap. So he really should check, the, take his steps first. Take his steps. If this guy slants in, you pick him up, run with him. Try to get him on his outside shoulder so your outs your back can get outside. But if he doesn't allow you to get to that outside shoulder, work this shoulder and make sure you work him in that direction. That's his goal. Now, if he start if he steps out and Ricard gets him, now he takes a step and climbs, which we weren't getting out of this position last year. So let let's check it. All right, so that guy really, he started there, but when he saw his, his flow his way, now he's the, he's the edge defender, so he has to defend this gap. That's where he's going. So now that guy belongs to Ricard. And with him going away from you, there's no need to continue to chase him. When you realize it, move up to the, to the next level. He does that, helps Ricard out because he kind of, he should have been getting out here, but Ricard did a good job of working it outside, and so now he's leveling up. So that's a good job of the double to make sure he doesn't take this gap. And now when you realize Ricard has him, you move on up to the next guy. Look at that. Finish him. Finish him. There you go. Finish your food. That's what we've been getting from Moses right there on outside zone plays. And not every play, but this is an example of how well he's been playing that position. All right. This next play, this is going to be counter. And he don't really do anything extravagant on this play, but I really like his athleticism. So watch just watch, just watch. And again, he don't make no 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 definifying block. But how many tackles has the uh, agility? Uh, you see, he's trying to he's trying to fit right through there. That's kind of small. And this dude is kind of taking out Linderbaum. How many tackles have the agility to see that Bam will jump through there? He just got clipped. Just got clipped. 
But again, most tackles are just taking this and just trying to bulldoze their way through and get. He jumps over the trash that's going to be right here to try to make a next level block. And that's high level athleticism. And I, yeah, I know he was hurting. And he, is he the best right tackle in the league? No. He's doing a great job for, for what we asked him to do. And I'm just trying to highlight that um, from Morgan Moses. All right, next play. And, again, we just saw him, you know, just show his athleticism pulling. Now let's show his athleticism pulling and finishing the job. Again, you get your kick out. I missed my button. <laughs> you're gonna get your kick out now. Again, it's not just pulling. You have to siphon through this stuff because you got a hole starting to open right there. But really, you're supposed to turn up off Linderbaum. So you, this hole is opening. So you got to decide: what, Do I hit that, or do I follow my original plan? Hopefully, he kicks it out, widens the hole, and turns up in there. So this this is really important for Boyle. This is Nick Boyle. Nick Boyle and Ronnie Stanley have to move the pile that way to give Moses and Gus an alley to get through. And that's not a lot of space right there. It's not a lot of space. But you see Moses, he, he bypassed this one. He's going where he's supposed to. He's supposed to fit right off of Linderbaum's butt. He does that. Kind of jumps through there again. Same little move. So I didn't realize it at first. But he jumps through there. Bam. And that's the gap. That, see, see the space Gus has? He has that. Has that. Now he can accelerate. Oh, I didn't see the extra guy there. <laughs> but he did a good job of getting his block and, and taking care of his business. And he's been doing that consistently all season on these counter plays. The counter to the left has been, well, it counter both ways have really been effective because Ronnie Stanley's the other guy. Hey, it's almost New Year's and everybody's about to start their New Year, New Me deal so once that summer body starts to to form itself you know you need some eyewear to accentuate the new outfits you got to get so go on over to hive uh, check out their deals let's run that commercial real quick have you ever put your drip on the step out and thought something was missing i got the perfect thing for you hive eyewear they are providing one of life's most important accessories the frame with every outfit, I wear the cherry on top of the cake. Fellas, I know you're always looking for the perfect gift for your significant other. Hive has a style to fit every personality. They also have what I need to look my best also. If you want to live the Hive life, tap into Hive Eyewear to be your flies. Follow on IG at Hive underscore Hive and at HiveLife.com on your browsers. They also have gift card options. And if you hang around to purchase... Put in code SIP to tally for a 10% discount. Again, live the hive life, be your flies. Now, do um, Morgan have flaws? Yes. I'm going to show you this one play right here. And this is stretch away from him. But that's why the, scent, the focus of this video was stretch to his side and counter away from him. This is stretch away. And this is a tough block for anybody. With with that the flow's going that way, he has to he wants to try to get on this shoulder of the guy. So when the ball snapped, you're gonna see this guy take steps that way. Morgan has the a hard job of trying to cut him off. And you know, sometimes even when the guy's position here, he struggles with this too. But this is the, the extreme version of, of this struggle on, on this play. You gotta try to first of all beat him to the spot. So you you step you gotta drop in the bucket, then you gotta get Depth and width to try to beat him basically almost to this spot. And he's got that advantage because look where he's lined up at. Let me run it. See? Now, he got the hand down, which is good. He took that hand, slapped it down. So now he needs to try to, he has to make up a spot somewhere. And the best way to make the spot up a spot up is, is to have some depth this way. So then you can in turn get that way on him and try to seal him off. It's, it's hard as heck to do. But it's doable. Now the guy is in the gap. So now there's nothing he really can do. Because you want he wants to get on this side. And he just struggles sometimes trying to beat guys to the other side on these blocks. And again, not complaining about it. Just this is the most extreme version of it, especially the way he's lined up. I just want to show you that that everything is not 
he ain't the perfect lineman. I just wanted to put that out there. I didn't want nobody to think that I was saying he don't do anything wrong or whatnot. And we won't even get in the pass pro with, with Morgan. We talking about the run game. All right, I found this one before I, I get to my last point. And this kind of negates the – the uh, well, not negates, but kind of shows reference to the last play. This guy's in a much closer stance to Morgan, and they're running a zone away from him. Watch how he does a better job of just getting his body on. And he's going to really kind of turn his back to him. You just really don't want this guy to penetrate that gap. You do whatever it takes to get over there. Technique-wise, you still got to do what I said the last one. But once you get there, your job is to not let him cross your face and to keep this gap open just in case there's there's going to be a cutback. So he got the hand down, which is the same move. Now he's, now he's in a better position. This guy hadn't penetrated the gap yet. So now he got his hand in the right spot. Got that, that left hand in the midpoint. And you really... I really would want him to try to get over here and turn this guy around and seal him off. But what he's doing is not bad. He's not letting him cross his face. So if there was some semblance of a cutback, if that was possible, his gap is still controlled and they could run that if, if this wasn't going on right here. And we're just focusing on Morgan. Now, that point is perfect. Other than he could just turn around and block him out that way. But with the, the negative of doing that is you potentially could get rolled up on. So this is not bad, and, and it's safer, too. All right, let's take a look at this one. This is going to be outside zone that way, to his side, which is one of the plays we talked about <clears throat> Excuse me, focusing on. And, yeah, he's going to have a little help, but just watch the technique. Fast forward a little bit. All right. Steps fine, got a wide base. Hands are right where he should be. Maybe a little closer to the body to get ready to, to shoot them hands out that, out that holster. And if you've been here a while, you kind of know what I mean. Hands in, Now, this hand's outside, but that hand right there is in the right spot. So, really, now it's up to the feet. It's up to the feet. So, this guy's starting to win this C gap. He's starting to win that gap. Morgan Moses has to either run him wide to give the back a lane to cut, or he has to some kind of way torque him to get on this side of him and then leave the back that alley to tor- the, uh, cut. So, he's starting to win. The good thing about it is, Zyla comes to help him. Zyla doesn't overplay him. Zyla's role, and remember we talked about this um, with somebody else about a week or so ago. Run your track. If something shows up in your track, block it. Now, with this bullfight that's going on, Zyla kind of overruns it and gets on this side, which is not ideal. It's not ideal. But Morgan Moses is doing what he's supposed to do. He's running them wide, so the backwood should cut that, and Zyla should be up on 54. That's what, that's what should be happening. Moses is doing his job. But Zyla kind of overruns it. And now because he overruns it, he's in the place where Ricard was supposed to be. So Ricard ended up blocking who Zyla was supposed to block. And Zyla is helping on the edge like Ricard should have did. But look at Moses. Moses did his job. He ran him wide. And technically, J.K. should have been able to cut that with somebody blocking 54. But he missed. 42 missed. And we ain't talking about 42 right now. But look how Moses widens the hole. Look how he widens the hole. I can't hook him, so now I got to run him wide. I'm running wide because I can't hook him, which is technically what you're supposed to do. But Zeitler and Ricard effed up, and so it kind of looks bad. But finish. Look at the, Watch the finish. Get on the ground, son. Bam, pancake. It is right there. Pancake. And again, that's... He's been doing this all season in the, the run game, whether it be a stretch to his side or counter. He's done a great job of of just blocking, man. He's been a pleasant surprise, I think, has played every game and um, is just doing his job. So it is, it's starting to work out, especially based off what we had at tackles last year. And I appreciate what Morgan Moses is doing. I pray that he continue to uh, do those things and, and has continued health and just Propel us to put this thing together offensively for the playoffs, man. We're in. Don't know if Lamar's playing. We just want to get this thing together. The defense is playing pretty pretty well, but it's been versus lower caliber teams. Hopefully they can continue to play that well when we play someone of significance, which the Steelers will be of significance this week because it's an impactful game. Then next week the Bengals will be of real significance because you may end up playing them catch two weeks in a row. May. May. Or may not. You never know. 
But again, I appreciate everybody for coming out. Uh, this is your first time here and you like what you saw, please like the video. Uh, if you want to see more of this, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you can be notified when that happens. Uh, thank you for coming out. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Holla.